Hi everybody, too. I'll be sure I got the self activate a weather radio. Yay! So, as you can see right here, I have one of my WR100s by version 2 to be exact. Whoops. Um, but anyway, so I want to self activate this. You can see that I already have, but I'll show you guys how to do it here. So, there are two ways to do this. One way is just fine, the other one's illegal. The right way involves an iPod, your weather radio, and your, um, uh, and a 3.5 millimeters of auxiliary cable. The wrong way involves a Bothang radio, an audio player, and your weather radio. I'm not going to get into details on how to do it, because I don't want anyone doing it, because it's highly illegal. But, I have one of these radios myself. I have it completely in pieces right now. I'm not, like, taking it apart, but, like, all I can get it apart as without like you know actually taking it apart but you see I have mine completely disassembled how it was when I got it in the box so that way there's absolutely no risk of my tones getting over the air that's just a precaution uh but anyway so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started here so I'm not gonna show you guys the wrong way but there are some videos of people doing on YouTube, some very not smart people, and please don't follow that. Please don't. It it's highly illegal. So anyway, you know, and, and so there's two different types of iPods you will need um, for different radios. So the WR100 and some other radios, um, you can use the iPod Touch fifth generation. Now for radios like the WR120. You're going to want one of these guys. This is a iPod Touch 4th generation. I know it's old, but it, it works. So, um, if you have one of these, hang on to it for as long as you can. Because it is useful for self-activating. Um, so, if you don't get this to work the first time, don't feel upset. Because it took me, like, two years to get self-activation to work. And uh, I was like, I don't have an old iPod. And then for some reason, I was forgetting about this one. I was like, oh, wait. So I go downstairs on top of the refrigerator and grab this thing. Because it's where it used to be stored. And I buy a cord for it. I plug it in. And then eventually I, you know, hook everything up and it works. And I was so excited. So um, if you have one of these, definitely hang on to it. Uh, but yeah, this is just the case. The back's not actually green. See? I honestly kind of like the backs of these Little old ones, they look kind of cool. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys how to self-activate with this iPod this time. And I'll make another video on how to self-activate other weather radios with the iPod Touch 4th generation. So anyway, what we're going to do, I uh, uh, need to go over some settings. So we're going to go to the menu. And that is, yes, yeah, same set. And then we're gonna press select, make sure it's set to any, and then we'll go down. And then make sure your channel set to channel two. And then back out to the main menu. We can go ahead and get started now. Also, make sure your alert type is set to whatever you want it to be. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this into the headphone jack here. And rewind me tones here. Or unlock it and rewind them. There we go. Alright, so anyway. Then we're going to take the red side of this 35 millimeter to aux cable. And we're going to take the red side. We're going to plug it into the antenna ports. We're going to take the white side. And we're just going to kind of gently click it into place. Into the cloning port. And then... So, it's important that you turn your volume all the way up and your antennas down. If your tones sound, sound distorted, turn down the volume. You just kind of have to mess around with the volume. It takes some practice. And there we go.
I'm gonna do tornado warning. So if you want to use the same tones as I used, um, go to Gorman, G-O-R-M-A-N hyphen Redlich, L-I-C-R-E-D-L-I-C-H dot com. And then go to the menu and click on downloads and find the EIS tones there. Now, let's see here. Well, some of the EIS tones I manually uploaded work. Let's try that here. I do have some on here. Where's the stupid EAS tones? Oh, that's where I uploaded them to a different iPod. So, I don't have them. So anyway. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna put my cord away now. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully this helped you.